Hi guys and welcome back to The Batch Lady. I am Suzanne Mulholland, aka The Batch Lady, and today I'm going to show you how to make some freezeable guacamole. Um, on The Batch Lady channel in general, I show you how to make fast, simple, freezeable meals that you can cook in advance and put in your freezer and use whenever you want them, and guacamole is no exception. People think you can't freeze guacamole, but you can by freezing it partly done and adding some other things. So that's what we're going to do today. So we have got avocados, you can see that avocados we've got some um coriander or cilantro if you're watching this and you're in the states and um, some lemon some olive oil and some salt so um what i'm going to do is show you how to make but base oh sorry and a chili so i'm going to show you how to make some basic guacamole and then when you take it out you simply add in your chopped onions um or your chopped tomatoes and mix it through and you've got a nice fresh healthy um guacamole but the reason it's good to do it in advance is because quite often how many of us um i'm just going to cut this one how many of us wait on our um avocados ripening and when you've got avocados ripe and you've got quite a lot of them then just make it put it in the freezer and then it's sitting there you've always got a chopped onion usually you've usually got some tomatoes so um if you don't know how to do this in terms of an avocado you um cut it round open it take your stone out and then you just spoon it out round the skin and it literally comes away from the skin really easily okay so we've really this looks like a lot of avocado that i've got but actually it's about three large ones but these are tiny little ones if you ever want your guacamole not to go brown leave your stones in the guacamole now this is cheap and easy and it's cheap because if you've ever bought guacamole before from a shop you'll know that a tiny little tub costs you about two pounds and once you open it if you don't use it within the first two days then it's going to go all brown and sort of watery where this you can just take out exactly as you need because if you stay tuned till the end you will see exactly how i'm going to freeze it and that's the magic to this recipe is how it's frozen so i have a chili here and i need to chop it i've got one of these pampered chefs little choppers that i use all the time And that is probably quite happy with that and um, you can use frozen chopped chilies excuse me I'll just put this away like I often do but I think for this recipe fresh chili works good so what you want to do is you want to use two tablespoons of olive oil and you're going to put it in your blender I know roughly what two tablespoons is so I'm just going to do that I'm going to add in my chopped chilies so this can go in any blender that you've got at all, should work with this. And just put your avocado straight in. Now, as I always say, my blender is a professional blender. So um, if you've got a smaller sort of glass blender, um, like I used to have, then you pretty much you want to do these in sections. You don't want to do it all at once. Um, otherwise, you might end up, um, you know, it doesn't quite whiz around. So you then want to put in your coriander. I've taken the stalks out of this and I'm just going to roughly chop it. Okay, you don't want the big stalks in. I've got a few tiny little ones, that doesn't really bother me. Um, but you don't want the big rough ones in. So in goes your um, coriander or your cilantro, whatever you decide to call it. And we've got two lines. One line I have already done because I'm trying to get quicker at these videos. I always end up making them about eight minutes long and everybody likes a sort of four minute video but when you're actually cooking full meals it's quite tricky to get it done in that time so I'm trying my hardest to be prepared and shorten my videos so you can let me know if this works any better although to be honest it's probably still going to be eight minutes because I can't seem to get it down from that right fresh lime juice beautiful and in it goes and lastly I'm just going to add a tiny bit of salt Right, let's give it a whiz up and hopefully we've got avocado. And I'm going to put some of this in the way. Two minutes, we'll move this up and we'll get ready for the next one. Okay, let's just see how it looks just now. Come on, open up. It's got a safety feature on it, so it takes a minute to want to open it. Here we go. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Can you see that? That is guacamole at its best. Now I'm just going to get a little spoon and actually give that a stir. 
and make sure that is, oh, that's good. That is really good. I'm going to try it. Mmm. That is superb. Now, it mainly tastes sort of avocado and chilli at the moment, but of course, once you're adding your, um, your tomatoes and your onions in, it's going to taste completely different because it's going to be it's going to be chunky so i've made mine quite smooth but i'm going to make the rest of my ingredients quite chunky when i add to them so all i do to freeze it is freeze it in ice cream scoops on a tray with some parchment okay and i'm just going to scoop it out of here it doesn't have to be glamorous you're not serving it like this but what it means is when we want guacamole and we eat a lot of mexican food we use it as a dip the children like it it's quite healthy um, you can just take out exactly what you want. So usually, of course, one looks quite small, but by the time you add two tomatoes to it and a quarter of an onion, then you bulk it out again. So what you want to do is you want to get this in your freezer and fast freeze it. So put it on the tray and put it, I'm going to continue that once I'm off here. Um, so this is what it then looks like. Okay, so it's going to go in the freezer. I'm going to leave it there for about an hour until they've actually hardened. And then I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag, seal them, taking most of the air out of them so they don't get freezer burn. When they come out, um, I'll just take two out of the Ziploc bag whenever I want guacamole. It takes about half an hour and they'll defrost. Chop a tomato, chop, add some chopped onions, give it a mix around and taste it. So we have got guacamole. Cheap easy for whenever we want it so get back and give it a go let me know how you get on with your guacamole thanks for watching subscribe below please log on to the batch lady you can see all the um my recipes from there and give me a thumbs up and let me know if you like these recipes thank you